plagued California since the height of the pandemic when people were leaving the state in droves. Well, that trend seems to continue because as people leave, well, they're taking U-Haul vans with them, creating a shortage. Assemblyman Kevin Kiley is joining us now with more on the problem. And I mean, I really thought that this was isolated maybe to pandemic and post-pandemic uh, movement when people were moving, but it's happening now. Uh, well, sure. And uh, in fact, it's been happening for some time and it's good to be with you, uh, Hunter, as always. Um, I, you know, we've seen for uh, quite a while in California, this mass exodus that has been building and building and building. I mean, uh, you know, no one needs me to tell them that they have their friends and neighbors and family members uh, who have been leaving the state for uh, for Florida, for Idaho, for Tennessee, uh, for just about any other state. Uh, because it's become so hard uh, for so many people to get by in California, not because uh, the greatness of our state is somehow diminished in terms of, uh, you know, everything we have to offer in terms of the climate, the natural beauty, our amazing uh, people and companies and culture and everything else. It's the government that is making life so difficult. And so that's why you've had people leaving. That's why you had, for example, California just lost one of its congressional seats is because of relative population decline uh, compared to other states. And yet it is is under Gavin Newsom uh, these last couple of years that we've reached a breaking point, you know, that this decline has been brought to a total freefall, where for the first time in California history, you now do have more people who are leaving the state than are coming. And in fact, you have uh, the number of people who are coming to California has gone down significantly in each of the other 49 states. So there's a very clear uh, trend here. Uh, and, uh, you know, the sort of uh, uh, incident that happened with U-Haul, where last year they literally ran out of trucks because so many people were moving out. That kind of sums it all up for you. And it's something I, I was reading your uh, Sacramento Bee article uh, that came out recently. And uh, this is something that you said, uh, maybe part of a bigger problem here. I mean, has there been any response in terms of maybe uh, elected leaders coming out and saying, you know, this is another one of the consequences and, and we want to do something about it? I mean, are people acknowledging that this is a continued issue, not just something that was happening during the pandemic? Well, sure, some people are acknowledging it, but uh, those aren't the people who control the major levers of power right now. Uh, Governor Newsom is a, uh, a California exodus uh, denialist. Uh, he's literally denied that it's happening. He says that this is just something that, you know, uh, haters are, are making up. Well, uh, you know, if it's some sort of myth, I guess the Census Bureau is in on it because uh, they're the ones who have uh, come up with these numbers. And so, uh, you know, uh, the governor's strategy appears to be to make people sort of uh, not believe uh, the data and not believe uh, what their own eyes uh, can see. And certainly uh, neither the governor nor the legislature uh, has taken this as a wake up call uh, that we need a course correction. Quite the contrary, Gavin Newsom has, uh, you know, maintained that California is, quote, a model for the nation. He said that California is the roadmap to success for the Biden administration. He's spending his own campaign dollars running ads in Florida and Texas telling people to come here. Uh, so, uh, you know, somehow uh, he sees what's happening. Uh, he sees the reasons for it. The fact that we have the highest level of poverty, the highest cost of living among the worst infrastructure, the highest taxes, the worst business environment, some of the worst public schools. Uh, and yet, instead of trying to fix those problems, uh, he instead celebrates them. Uh, and so, uh, you know, and of course, now he uh, has uh, some apparently ambitions to perhaps uh, seek the White House at some point here, uh, maybe even in 2024. Uh, and I think that he's going to have a hard time making that case. Uh, that somehow uh, the failures that he and the supermajority have brought upon California are, uh, you know, somehow going to be a good thing for the country. Well, Kevin, this is certainly something that is uh, only the beginning, something we're going to track and see if it happens to level out. We know, again, that you're working hard to uh, make sure that everybody's voices are heard on this issue and certainly something that, as you mentioned, you can see it on paper. I mean, uh, kind of hard to dispute, but uh, something that, of course, we hope corrects itself uh, and soon. But Kevin, thanks so much for joining us tonight. We really appreciate it. You bet. Thank you.